Hello everyone, this is lecture series 23, Introduction to IoT Dealing with Healthcare IoT. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So why we need healthcare is the, is the most questions that arises to me. So obviously we need healthcare in the real time scenario. We know about the pollution rate that is occurring in the atmosphere. We know about the uh, various virus that is spreading across the country. So obviously the healthcare is the most predominant one that we have to see into. So in the other lecture series, we have seen about the uh, IO, IoT infrastructure which is developing across various case studies. Now in this, we are going to see about how the healthcare case study is uh, uh, is more predominant in the IoT infrastructure. So we use healthcare uh, IoT infrastructure for diagnosing many human diseases. Not only for diagnosing, it also helps us monitoring health conditions. Like we have, we wear uh, uh, healthcare bands in our hands so that it measures the uh, BP. Uh, oxygen rate, the number of steps we have walked and it indicates that you, you need, you whether need more exercise today or it is enough for, uh, enough for you to dress down. So all these, uh, all these are nothing but the uh, IoT that is built for taking care of the health. So obviously IoT based healthcare system is increasing the quality of uh, life of the human beings, whether it, uh, it is psychologically increasing or it is physically increasing we see that with this iot based healthcare system people are very very easily knowing about their uh, health sitting at one place so moving into the architecture for healthcare iot it is divided into four layers where you can see here the layer one is completely embedded with sensor and the layer two is nothing but it is a unit which senses the data and transfers the sense data to the cloud. And third one is the one which maintains the database and the cloud storage. And the fourth layer is nothing but the layer which consists of a monitor or a mobile application or any other thing that, um, that communicates to the particular user or customer to know about the health status. So now in layer one, this is nothing but these are the sensor node connected across the body. So these sensor will connect all the parameters that is necessary for the particular human body to be maintained. In layer two, what happens is this is nothing but your processing unit called local processing unit where this unit will collect all the sensed information from the layer one attached to all the body that is sensor attached to the body from the layer one it senses all the data which is transferred to the layer two where the layer two collects the uh, data and transfer to the layer three so what is layer three here this is nothing but the cloud architecture so the, the this is where the data of multiple patient not only one patient multiple patient is stored in different database so for each patient each database will be maintained such that there is no um, no confusions of data uh, is made when a particular patient enters into the hospital to know about the health, health status. So um, uh, after storing here in this cloud, analysis of the data can be uh, done and uh, results can be set to the uh, doctor and also to the patient. So that will be the analysis, all those will be done in the layer four. So the layer four consists of like, if you can see here, it, it is a ECG, it is showing the graph which represent the parameters of the human body. It represents some flow of the human body. So here the end user will receive the, uh, receive the complete status of the uh, body through, which is sensed by the sensor and analyzed by the doctors through the application, IoT application and the final results will be produced either in tablets, cell phones or computers. So in layer one, we have seen that there are many sensors that is attached to the human body. That sensor can be like temperature sensor, uh, blood pressure sensor, glucometer, or um, uh, the sensor that senses uh, the uh, oxygen level uh, in the body. So there are n number of sensors that is used uh, throughout the body to measure different parameters. 
so these are the components that that is available in the healthcare iot is nothing but the sensor so sensor i have already uh, told that it senses the all the parameters value necessary for for the particular body to be produced like oxygen level sugar level uh, stress level um then oxygen rate all those will be sensed by different sensors in the human body that is placed in the human body wireless connectivity obviously we need wireless connectivity because only this wireless connectivity will help transmitting the data from the sensor to the lpu unit that is your cloud server through cloud i mean through lpu it is stored in the cloud server so the wireless connectivity like wi-fi bluetooth or the uh, internet that we provide such that it is maintained in the cloud database all those should be maintained such that the data will be transmitted privacy and security so uh, when a patient enters the uh, hospital his or her data should be privately uh, it should maintain privacy and security should be provided for that for their data because confusion should not occur between uh, one patient to other patients parameter value so each database will maintain privacy and security such that the data doesn't uh, confuse with other database and finally analytics so once stored in the cloud the analytics that is the algorithm performs many analytics in the parameters of the human body and finally conclude that these are the uh, levels of the parameters that is derived from a particular body and it also tells that whether it is in the uh, uh, proper way that is in a measured way or it is on the higher level all those analytics will be done and there is a cloud computing or for computing which is used for short term and long term storage of uh, parameter values of all the patients interface is nothing but there should be an interface between the cloud and the end user so that user interface is nothing but your television or your uh, mobile application or cell phones or tablets so these are the interfaces that communicates uh, to the end user from the cloud analytics so there are advantages and risk in the healthcare iot seeing the advantages it is real time yes uh, each and every minute your oxygen level is checked so obviously it is locus with one small band the various parameters of the body is measured and easy to manage because all the parameter data is stored in the cloud which is having a separate database for different human beings so it is easy for the management so when it is when it is having a single I mean uh, every single databases for various parameters it is easy for the analytics to process the data and give give you out some analytics so rep, record keeping is also easier because it uses fog or cloud computing for long term and short term storage easy diagnosis because when real time data is are fed uh, yeah, the diagnosis of the patient will be uh, in real time so it is easy diagnostics seeing all these advantages there is some risk also available in healthcare iot it is nothing but internet connectivity so when internet connectivity is there it is possible for easy communication if it is not there obviously then it is uh, it is one of the risk factors where the data will not be stored in the database properly and proper analytics cannot be derived for a particular patient if suppose if the computer cloud computing or fog computing fails to store the data then loss of data will occur so uh, it doesn't store any data and each and uh, each and when uh, the patient enters the hospital they have to again check for all the parameters also the time con it it will be time consuming and privacy and security also is at risk once if the data is lost here it is uh, it is nothing but it is meant that the security is also lost so these are the risk that is available in the healthcare iot so rather than the risk we can see about the advantages that we are getting out of this iot infrastructure hope you have understood the concepts stay tuned for more information thank you